Oh my goodness. It's just like last year. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well. There's Anna, Jonathan, Amelia, Eduardo, Alessia, and baby number four. They've got six dogs and they make vlogs. They're really so much fun to watch. Tune in every day to see more. It is day plus five, Alessia. Plus five. Can you believe it? Your brother's not here. He's not here at all. Is he even, is he even coming? Is he ever coming? Wozers, you standing up? We just changed an old stinky nappy. <laughs> what you want, the car? Yeah. You do love cars, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Right, who had day plus five? Is today gonna be the day, folks? Is today gonna be the day? Who not? I dropped the stinky nappy. Roll it up, roll it up, Ty. Is the baby ever gonna make an appearance today? Is the baby ever gonna make an appearance? Is the baby ever making an appearance? Does anyone know? Does anyone know? Although Eduardo woke up this morning at like usually half five or six o'clock. Amazing. I'll remind you of that when you're a teenager, Eduardo. <laughs> and then he woke Alessia up and he woke Amelia up. And I was just thinking, Oh my boy, oh my goodness. What are we gonna do if we have another baby here and he wakes that baby up as well? I'll be living my best life as they say. The kids are going to tennis club today, day one of tennis club. Hopefully that's gonna, unfortunately it's not gonna tie us over all the way until school starts again. It's only like, I'm trying to just, so I'll plop that there. Yeah, tennis club doesn't last, but there is ballet club again the week after. We're trying to make it work, folks. We're trying to make it work. We're trying to stay alive on the super highway of life. Life. Anyway, I enjoyed this vlog I made for you. Yo. Has anyone seen a small baby around here? No. Yes, it's in there. Oh, is it still in there, Eduardo? I got your cheese. Is that the vegan cheese? <laughs> you have a vegan cheese for breakfast. <sighs> Guys, we need to we need to invite him out more. We need to have, make it more fun out here for him. I you know? just like Maybe he heard this morning how early Eduardo woke everyone up and he thought to himself, I'm not coming out there. This crazy boy wakes everyone up so early. <laughs> I'm getting it now. First day at tennis club. Wow, you can guys are so cool. All right, here we go. Tennis club. Tennis club. Let's go. 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 What? What? This is tennis club, guys. You know you are close to giving birth when you start nesting big time. That's what I've been doing today, and I will show you guys. <laughs> This is my bathroom, but I also have to share with the kids because this is the only one with the bathtub in it. So I organized these two baskets because they were a mess. I organized this basket. I put all face cloths in there. Organized that one with my face cloths. Um, I also organized in here, which I know you guys didn't get to see the before, but the before was very, very messy, just basically to let you know. <laughs> I organized in here, which now looks very empty, but I like how empty it looks. And now I think I'm gonna go and organize the toys, the toy baskets, because that has been on my to-do list for like, honestly, probably months. Like, and I, I do it regularly and I just get so full up. Hospital bags are here, ready to go. I need to also, revisit them I need to kind of like just double check that I have everything in there because I know I don't I need to add some things and probably take a waste I don't I don't know so um but I'm just feeling very productive it's like it's nice guys welcome to phase two welcome to phase two of the uh, refurb phase one is complete we have completely stripped out the downstairs of the house we 
took it from where it was when we first moved in here right back to floors all up, uh, skirting boards out, got rid of all the cables and the silliness that was going on, took the second floor out, all those little tiles, those wooden tiles. We took out the fireplace, we took out half of the other fireplace, and we started painting downstairs, the flooring stuff is kicking off now. So it's now time to move on to phase two which will be the carpeting part. So we've got the carpeting people coming in uh, in about a week and a half, two weeks. So that's why we have to get this area ready for carpet, which means taking up all of these floors and all the floors in Amelia's room and Eduardo's room and nursery, no, nursery's got carpet. We also need to take up all the carpet we have there. Um, yeah, uh, I think that's it really. Clear out the rooms, if there's any furniture, obviously Eduardo's room has that. Um, silly wardrobe thing needs to be taken out. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of uh, cabling cleanup to do as well up here. Let me show you. Cat five uh, coming out. So this is probably coming off the MMDS. This is probably coming. No wait, this is definitely. Look at the look at those Cat five connectors. They are so old. Definitely coaxial. These guys here are coming off the sky dish. This is coming off like a phone. I don't even want a phone in my house. I just want the internet. I'm um, not sure why we have one, two, three Cat5 connections and one RJ5 connection. Like what? This floor is actually quite nice. This floor is quite nice, but I don't really want this carpet up here, so I guess we got to be careful. Anna has this walk-in wardrobe thing. We start out, and then we've got this bathroom in here. Uh, bathroom's quite nice, isn't it? Hi. But yeah, we gotta sort. Um, these tiles are fine. The carpets are probably gonna just come to here. Let me show you the original system, okay? This was arts and crafts. Nope. <laughs> this was Alessia's toys. Nope. This was Eduardo's toys. Again, nope. And this was Amelia's toys. Again, nope. Nothing is organized. So, I'm gonna remedy that today, somehow. Wish me luck. <laughs> this is the before, okay? That's the before. Nah. Grinding, that's cool. They, they'll be randomly low, so they're <clears throat> different. Oh, you do mix them around yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all in um, things like that. So it's going to be running that way anyway. I'm going to make it off and then. Oh, didn't we say we were going to go? Whatever way you want to yeah, go, yeah. Yeah, that's right, isn't it? Which way are you going to go left or right? We did it that way just because the kitchen's massively long. Throw some of it down to here. It's because the wall's done. You can see what it looks like. Do this whole area while we're waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what the ply does? It levels yeah, it off. Yeah. No, no, no. Right, you can sort of see it. Because they're a little bit, they look very, they vary some of these boards as well. They're not all exactly the same. Oh, God, no, they'll be. Do you actually have to try and line them up? Oh, no, I'll have to I'll ping a line all the way through there. We are knee deep in toy hell. <laughs> So, this is the situation right now. Oh yeah. Yep. This box was full of like itty bitty toys. So I've just been sorting, organizing. I've got the Lego box here. LOL dolls here. Got a little pile for Eduardo going on there. A uh, few piles, that's not even a pile, that's just like a mess. Um, these are all kind of organized. And so I think I'm going to make this box Emilia's one. <laughs> Look at this, Martin's paint keep off. <laughs> Is that what Matt Roy's messing around? 
with the old Martin game. Oh, wait a second. Do you know what I should do? I should get some paint and I should paint Martin on the wall. He'll be here in a few hours and say nothing. <laughs> Just see if he says anything. Wait, is this a marker? Is this the marker that we actually found? Oh my goodness. Right. Hope this doesn't ruin the paintwork. And this place is actually haunted by Martin, Eduardo's little friend. That was actually true. That was like I know that I don't know. That was actually for real. It's like I think I think he might have known because Eduardo's been like they've heard me talking about the Martin thing before. But when I when we got up into the attic, he did literally walk over to the back wall and start talking to somebody <laughs> and say hi. Now he's a kid with an active imagination. I have an active imagination, so I'm, I'm assuming that's all it was. You know what I mean? But I was just like, oh my god, how freaky was that? How many horror movies do the people buy an old house? I'm like, let's renovate an old house, hon! You know what I mean? And they go there, and then it all goes terribly wrong because they've ended up buying a haunted house. I was like, seriously? We got all the flooring here. It's gonna look so good. Well, I think it's gonna look so good. Um, oh, I hope so. I hope so. We have a batch of it. And it's made in Britannia. So that's cool. So even if the Brexit, I can still get that. I feel like we're getting somewhere though. I feel like we are getting somewhere. You know, especially with the paint on the walls, like, you know, you can start to see it. That's weird how that gray looks different color to this gray because of obviously there's more light there. I do prefer it in the dark, you know, but it's starting, it actually is, you know what I mean? Like starting to look like something, you know, imagine that wall was gray too, it was just gray and whites, you know, because oh, it's, kind of, it's, it's looking like it's going somewhere. It's looking like it's going somewhere. It would be cool to live here. Huh? Okay, kids are back. So my time here is kind of limited, but... Hi, guys. I did do all of this. So we've got Alessia's toys, arts and crafts, Amelia's toys, and Eduardo's toys. And these are a bit random over here, but that's kind of all we have left to do. Everything else is organized. I'm really happy for the most part. Could be better, but I can't, I don't even know how many hours I, in I am. Did someone say hours? Yeah, I spent ages doing this. Eight. I don't think so. And now they're I just don't gonna know mess it up. I just want to say, you know you're prepared for labor when these are in your bedroom. <laughs> hey, come and hug me. Bye, boys. <laughs> How are you? I'm a friendly lion bear. I'll get you one, two, three, and leave me hungry, happy bear. Hey, come and hug me. Oh my goodness, so Amelia, oh, I'm ready to focus. So Amelia had that, I'm a friendly like the bear, I'll give you one, two, three. I'm a friendly like the bear, I'll give you one, two, three. I keep be hungry, happy bear, hey, come and hug me. And then Alessia has it, Eduardo has it, and your bro is going to have it too. Everywhere, for generations. I think my brother had this for his little boy as well. One, two, three, I keep be hungry, Hey, come and hug me. Ooh, do you know the words? <laughs> okay, I think it's really getting to Anna. This uh, overdue pregnancy stuff, like she's having a bit of a, a bit of a go at me <laughs> for the uh, the co sleeper because I wasn't gonna build a co sleeper until she had the baby because after she has the baby, she's gonna be in the hospital for a couple of days probably. So I was like, look, mate, when you have the baby, I'll come home and obviously, like, I'll have to come home at that point and look after the other three children that we have. Um, so I was like, I'll build it, I think she's just, I think it's getting to her, being over right now. So I'm gonna go inside and build the co-sleeper. Um, yeah, oh my goodness, I cannot believe we're here at plus five, guys. What the hell, how far is it? Well, we know how far it's gonna go. There is a time limit on, obviously Anna will be induced at some point if um, she doesn't naturally uh, have the baby herself. 
but I was so distracted with uh, doing my little uh, renovation project that I forgot to build a cone sleeper. But I'm gonna go build it now, and then all will be well, and everyone will be happy. And maybe not, maybe not subconsciously, she knows the cone sleeper's not ready. That's why the baby hasn't come. So if I build a cone sleeper, you know, it's like Tommy knockers. If you build it, they will come. Tommy knockers, Tommy knockers, knocking on your door. <laughs> Just in case. I built it, but upon building it, I realized a little flaw. It's a lot larger than it's hot, and it needs to go upstairs. There you go. I built it. Thanks. Let's all be honest now. I wasn't going to build it, but... I don't have any pants on. It's okay. Like, if a baby falls out, we have this thing here to catch it. There's a baby gun in here. Move it into the bed. <laughs> I'm going. I am carrying a Theo. Oh my goodness. It's just like last year. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, here we go, guys. Plus five is over. Baby didn't come on plus five. Tomorrow is plus six. Tune in tomorrow. Oh my goodness. Oh, say goodbye.